Hi there, good people. What's going on? Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is almost towards uh, morning. It's 11 a.m. Uh, 10.45 more like. So I am going to be doing a couple of reviews if I have power. Nowadays, we have to add that condition because Bangladesh, we are blessed with one hour on and off. You never know. You're just going to have the Swiss surprise. Suddenly, there's no power. But I still don't want to complain because the high heat and everything, many people are struggling much worse. So I just hope, you know, we get rid of this kind of evil you know, entity and uh, we get our power back and uh, you know regular life back anyway so i have a couple of special uh, episodes one episode i'm going to do a couple of reviews and then another one is going to be a list i have many fragrances uh, individual coming up wait for those i ordered one more fragrance from armov which is a big surprise no review on that so i'll start with this fragrance today two fragrances okay one is from india one is from bangladesh uh, one is called uh, loves other one is called uh, inspired fragrances this is from bangladesh this is from india and many request have uh, hit me in my inbox like brother when i'm gonna do the loves fragrance because this is affordable and people think it's from bangladesh because it's popular in bangladesh and I'll, I'll talk about this so two in one video okay let's start because we are running out of time time is money now so loves i saw this fragrance i think they have other fragrances as well and this is an indian brand it says made in india and i think a product is made in india and i saw somewhere those singapore or brand and market by something singapore so perhaps joint venture i don't know if you uh, know uh, i think this is an indian brand uh, maybe based in singapore or something but in bangladesh this fragrance was mostly people know bangladeshi brand because one of our uh, cricket heroes mashafi bin Muttoza, he is like our cricket ex cricket captain uh, cricket team captain he was brand ambassador for it so people thought it's a bangladeshi brand so we do have tanzim some of the other brands i reviewed but this looked interesting to me i bought this from dara's uh, there was some sales going on not much of a sale but it's you know under 100 uh, sorry 10 something dollars thousand something taka if you buy it somewhere else maybe it would be like 700 rupees in india i think that's the price range so there you go nice little box i love the coloration really looks nice uh, it says loves and it's the fragrance called denny's or denny's or i don't know edp concentration and I sprayed this fragrance, you can see it's a bit shiny. I sprayed on the box because <laughs> I can smell it easily. So this is an interesting one. I saw it immediately. I felt like this bottle is going to be interesting. I had no clue. I saw one review from one brother. I'll leave his link below. It is in Bengali language. So this is how the bottle looks. This bottle, you've got to give it that. It looks nice. Okay. You have seen bottles like this before, like maybe Steven's uh, line, like uh, these fragrances are, you know, like I have the big bottle somewhere, but these are smaller bottles from Nabitu's perfume they are the similar shape and then you guys know like Nabitu's was similar to these bottles as well uh Roja Doves, Elysium or the whole line perfume cologne so it looks kind of like that and it almost reminds me of the vetiver of Roja Dove. cap is a little bit different but I really like if I hold it like this you see the bottle is a beautiful dark and green uh, combination beautiful bottle and I gotta give it that even if it's cheap or expensive I always give props if I like something. It's not very heavy. The cap is of uh, plastic, not really good quality, but it's painted gold and looks nice, you know, and somewhat of a decent grip, but doesn't click onto place. So the name of the perfume and then the concentration is EDP. So it says, okay, one other thing, it says halal. It's a marketing, by the way. Uh, fragrance are all halal, even if the alcohol used in there any fragrance it's synthetic alcohol so if you pray no issue if there are people who like to misguide people that fragrance uh, you know con fragrance containing alcohol is not permitted uh, you just take a look in youtube videos the muftis and uh, the scholars declared already that these fragrances are allowed other thing is even if you have these ones you know like we use just give you an example this thing is called hand sanitizer you know has that what's the name of this thing it's called uh, hexisol in bangladesh and a different name you know during covid we used to use this so this one has plenty of alcohol to disinfect doctors use it to you know disinfect their hands and gloves so no issue so loves basically came out with that halal perfume branding and their body sprays they're saying 100 percent halal no alcohol so i did not like that actually to be honest because it's it's uh, not really correct information everything is halal but then i saw this perfume this looks more premium okay so what i spray in this the sprayer it's okay not bad uh, small small bursts you know i'm not gonna say this is the best prayer i've seen this is actually cheap sprayer but for the price range you know i would say it's fair because uh it's not very expensive so what i smell from this it's a uh, i tried a few days okay i tried it while walking outside 
projection longevity was okay you know not bad not entirely poor like you would expect oh halal fragrance zero alcohol means it's not gonna project not gonna last it lasts decent amount but do not expect this fragrance to last you the whole day okay uh, i got fourth hour mark the dry down part dry down on my shirt and skin combine i could detect it and i'm pretty happy about it but i had to spray like double double shots you know like total six sprays lasted me four hours but if you do not stay in the ac room and you are you know like putting on the skin and when you sweat a lot it's gonna wash away it's gonna be washed away quickly but i think still it will last this in like two hours on skin why because this is an oily perfume okay you see this when i spray this it stays oily like this on the skin pretty much the same and the thing is the projection from this i'll not say massive it's like two feet you know when i wear this when i walk around i feel it's like about two feet projection which is okay not bad so the most important thing is the scent profile okay i'll tell you one thing i found the scent uh, mix somewhere but this is very familiar scent to me okay this goes sweet fruity citrusy floral rose and a little bit like a mansara kind of a dry down it's like a middle eastern meets western kind of perfumery very modern kind of fragrance and this kind of fragrance has like you know this one reminds me of particularly few fragrances okay I, i'll tell you if you know fragrance like this one mansara goal intensity out or uh mansara's black to black if you know those this is a lighter take on it few days back or few months back i did uh mujib 100 that fragrance made in bangladesh also but that was made in dubai i think that one had the similar uh, structure fruity kind of like oud uh, kind of like a floral very nice ambery this one will give you the same the dry down changes a little bit and it gets a little bit spicy i think there's a little bit touch spicy in there uh, maybe cardamom or something but i really like it it's like a sweet fruity perfume that you can wear in uh, namaz namaz means prayer uh, you can wear this to that you can also wear this for occasion parties if you're wearing jubba or if you're wearing punjabi in bangladesh you call punjabi or kurta you say in india and pakistan uh, if you're wearing this traditional you know long coat um, you know that kind of time you can wear this in the winter time it will really be beautiful you can also wear this in summer but do not put too much you'll get a headache right right so many people ask me about it is a good fragrance it is a good fragrance so just you have to keep in mind what you pay for versus what you get it's a very good deal it's not the best fragrance out there it is not the most natural perfume but what they're offering here it's going to win a lot of people it's kind of like masculine i think also at the same time women can also wear it and it says 100 percent vegetarian right <laughs> so this thing you don't have to worry it's just this fragrance is very very beautiful and i like it surprised me a little bit and i think this is a good start i will try more of their perfumes overall my impression on this for the price 100 ml edp is nice smelling kind of like this mansara fruity there's a rose there's a little bit of uh, cloves or spice at base base there's sandalwood perhaps so it's a sweet uh, mild spicy fruity citrusy rose fragrance okay really nice i highly recommend this give it a try and uh, you can buy this in daras i think uh, online or you can go to shops and buy it maybe you can save few uh, few taka okay so overall i'll give it 8.5 very good fragrance okay so now moving on to the second fragrance this is a house made in bangladesh this is proudly uh, where i am from so i would say bangladeshi house right so this is called inspired fragrances inspired fragrance rather and i was sent many samples and today uh, i also received a package so overall i have about i think on 15 fragrance plus like 20 fragrances of them so i'll do a particular episode all the fragrance in one video and i will try to do it in bengal in english but i want to do a full bottle review today because it's a full bottle okay so this is how the presentation looks and these are like uh, you know bottles you have seen before these are decan bottles okay and these are budget house do not uh, complain i will say humbly uh, what you pay for versus what you get is already good dua fragrance alexandria they all started with this kind of bottles so many houses use this even some niche houses use this kind of bottles uh, i'll show you one by one so this one is called uh, lost cherry they make basically clones and they do their own sort of oil good quality oil from at least i think uh, this is how the name looks really nice simple packaging but looks nice i give props thanks khalid bhai for sending these to me so this is how the bottle looks look at the juice color first thing i picked up is this perfume they have quite a few nice juice colors but this one i picked because uh, it's a full presentation this is the big bottle they also have let me tell you he sent me the price list sorry about my messy room at the back uh, <laughs> uh wait um let me see the messages you know so many messages man i i go crazy okay 5 ml of this stuff 
150 taka 10 ml 250 taka 30 ml 500 taka 50 ml 750 and 100 ml they also have 1400 taka so this is like a 30 ml i think bottle so basically uh, 150 taka means 1.5 dollars and uh, 1400 taka means 14 dollars more or less so this is very good within budget 15 dollars you can get uh, this fragrance so is it worth the i'll show you look at the juice color first of all beautiful fiery red i like that the side the name of the fragrance front the sticker this is i'll tell you this is a very simple packaging okay but uh, for the price i have no issue uh, because uh, if they give you a nice presentation nice bottle nice atomizer and cap the price will double okay this is the reality right so cap looks like kind of like a chanel number no. five kind of cap nice but plastic atomizer is okay this much no problem but i'll show you one thing i'm wearing this for 35 odd minutes look at the oil concentration this stuff is oily okay okay this is inspired by lost cherry by tom ford definitely so let's spray some okay so thing is um bangladeshi brand doesn't mean that everything has to be original many middle eastern fragrances they also have like lot of uh, armor of their inspired but i'll tell you one thing uh, this is a very very nice uh, interpretation of lost cherry previously i reviewed like uh these Mason Alhamra line, which is discontinued now. I did uh, Wild Cherry by Mansera. Oops, oh, heart attack <laughs> because the cap was loose. So this is another one I love. And then there are a few of the other ones similar to Lost Cherry, and I did review Lost Cherry, so I know this DNA. So Lost Cherry basically is a kind of like a cough syrup sort of cherry, very sour and sweet, very intense, and longevity is through the roofs. So if you buy the Tom Ford, it's going to be the best version of that because that's the original but the clones so far i tried they're very very um how to say cherry based one guillance uh the le petit robe noir the black perfecto great smoky uh leather cherry but this one is totally hits the fruity and kind of smoky reminds me of red tobacco a little bit kind of smoky the dry down but the opening oh yeah so good okay if you happen to be in bangladesh i don't know uh, you can scan this right uh, you can see the product information i'll leave a link below of their perfumes but i think if you have this i mean 150,500 taka for 100 ml of this stuff i'll buy this any day okay why because great value longevity was very good oil is very very high i do not have any uh like itching or uh, skin disturbance you know sometimes some perfumes do that when you put them on the neck it burns you guys know that right some perfumes they do that even expensive ones so this one didn't have that effect i haven't put it on my neck quite but uh, so far on my skin no disturbance so all good signs longevity is very good projection is one and a half hour after that it still stays but people when they pass you by give you a hug they can smell you so very nice i love overall the juice color it win it, it won me over i love beautiful juice color i don't know how they achieve it but good so thank you so much for sending this to me i love it i will give this something like a nine out of ten really love this i think great value you know imagine you know 30 ml of this stuff is gonna be 500 taka you know and you can wear this for a very long time you can carry it it's a good friendly pocket size friendly or bag even if you have a small purse you can carry it and both genders can wear it great dating fragrance sour cherry and uh, sweet kind of like tonka after that and a little bit smoky right amazing fragrance trust me when i give nine out of ten because i'm very impressed so try this fragrance on inspired for fragrance uh, similar over 80 percent they say and i think actually it's more like a 90 percent plus mm. I will say that right so give it a try i'm really happy i tried this and uh, i'll leave a link below you can try their products you can buy small samples try them first then if you're impressed then you can buy the rest uh, or buy a full bottle thank you so much for watching thank you nijum bhai khalid bhai sorry khalid bin zubai nizum nijum bhai okay uh, for sending this to me doing awesome work keep it up and you guys wait for my review on rest of his fragrance they're all very very good take care time for one more video if time allows bye bye